Hello beautiful, strong, happy and healthy people. In this video, I'm gonna explain five reasons why I decided to get someone to fully renovate a chest freezer, freezer into an ice bath for me instead of doing it myself. So first, the reason I'm wearing pink today is because it's only appropriate before I show you the most amazing and the most gorgeous chest freezer ever. So take a look at this bad boy. Now, of course, the pink is a very bobby pink, but come on. I couldn't have picked a better color. It's so funny that when we're picking colors, I was choosing so many people's color choices. People were doing black, people were choosing bright red. My husband wanted bright red and I said, no, I do not want to hop into the ice bath every day and have the feeling that I'm getting attacked by a shark or that there's blood in the water. So we agreed on a most gorgeous pink ice bath and I'm pretty happy. I think he's pretty happy too. So what do you think? The number one reason why I decided to get someone else to do the job for me is because when I started YouTubing at first it seemed so simple. Everyone was just like, just get this, just get this, buy your chest feeder, seal it here and jump in and you're good to go. But as I started actually going into the rabbit hole of DIY chest freezers, which most likely a lot of you are doing, I started realizing that everyone had a solution, everyone had the best idea and everyone's was completely different. There was very few that actually overlapped. So I was getting a little bit too much information that I started to get a little bit nervous about doing it. And I was like, no one actually has the perfect answer of how to do this. And I wanted something that was going to last. I didn't want something that in a couple weeks I'm going to have to throw away or I'm going to have to fix up or that's quite unsafe. And I'm going to have to you know, heal whatever injury I get from jumping in the chest freezer that wasn't actually safe for me to jump into. Reason number two is that no one was saying what actually happens in the long run to their amazing DIY jobs. So everyone's DIY jobs, they're doing it online and they're jumping in and they're like, yeah, this is awesome. But then you've seen a lot of them in about six months to a year doing another video about things I wish I knew before I did my DIY ice bath. Or if you look in the comment section and people are asking six months down the track, hey bro, how's it going? They're saying, oh, actually the sealant didn't work or the filtration system wasn't very good or I should have put a filtration system in it or whatever chemical I was using gave me a reaction. So everyone actually sounded great in the short term, but nothing was actually going good in the long run. And I did not want something that I'm gonna to have to fix or spend more money on in six months to a year. I wanted something that I'm gonna to have to pay for once, buy once, and then it's set and it's good to go. Reason number three is that we really wanted fiberglass. So through all my research on waterproofing, I was looking at the different things that you could seal it, or you could do some sort of pond paint or swimming pool paint to cover it so it doesn't leak. But when you actually dig in, you realize the best way to waterproof it was to actually fully fiberglass it. So I thought, how hard can fiberglassing be, right? So I started YouTubing videos on fiberglassing and then I realized that it's a pretty messy job. It actually can be quite costly. It's quite time consuming. And I'm gonna have to learn a whole new skill and it was not gonna look very good. So I actually went out and looking for someone who would actually fully fiberglass it for me. And come on, this is a pretty good looking job. It's a gorgeous finish. And one extra other reason why I really wanted to make sure this was done correctly was safety. So when I was looking at other people online, some people were saying, do not touch it if it's on. Do not touch the water. Do not let kids near it. Careful of things short circuiting. Make sure you have extra backup safety things. And it was starting to look a little bit scary. So I didn't want to build something that I was gonna be so terrified of the kids going near. Especially when we're in it, the kids are gonna to wanna to play with the water and have fun with us. So I wanted to make sure whatever we decided to get was super safe. And this is very minimal with the wires. We've got extra safety boxes. We end up getting a little power switch that can short circuit if anything happens, but everything does get fully turned off when we use it. But this is a lot safer than what the other things I did see online. Reason number five is the filtration system. So that when you're doing the research on DIY ice baths is you're really looking at how to get the filter correct. So most people are using fish tank filters or they're using ozone generators or they're using pool clothing or spa drops, things like that to keep it nice and clean. 
I did not want to have to change my water every couple of weeks. I did not want to have to change my water every few months. I wanted a filtration system that I could only change my water every six months or every year. So I actually originally found this person that did these because I found his filtration system and I just loved the way it looked. It wasn't bulky. It wasn't a thousand uh, wires and cords hanging out of the ice bath. It didn't look dangerous. It looked chic. It looked clean and it looked safe. So I actually originally contacted the guy who did this for me, Dennis because of his filtration system and I was going to just buy the filtration system until he we really talked about the waterproofing and then I decided to actually get it fully waterproofed. But the guy who does this and builds his filtration system, he actually said that he hasn't changed his water for over six months and he jumps in it, not showered, dirty, other people jump in it and his water is still crystal clear. So we're really hoping to get six months to a year out of our water before we have to change it because it's quite inconvenient for us to have to change water out here on a balcony. Okay, well I might as well uh, show you guys what it's like jumping in here. I've already done it today, so I don't know how I'm feeling, but uh, let's just give it a go. Might as well. Yeah, <laughs> Can you go get me a towel? <laughs> Thank you strong happy and healthy people for watching my video on the reasons why I bought a ice bath and got someone else to do it for me instead of me doing it myself while a chest freezer converted into an ice bath. So I just did my three minutes and I actually already did three minutes today this morning. So my our routine at the moment is I'll do a video on it but we'll wake up in the morning and we're doing it first thing in the morning before we start work which is about 4am. Um, you'd think it would be harder to do it 4am waking up but actually for some reason I felt so much tougher and I was so much colder. I think because I wasn't mentally ready to jump in again. Um, but I can't really video at 4 a.m. because we do it naked. So, you know, our neighbors only get to see us naked in the ice bath and whatever you is. Yeah, I'm sure they can. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this video and I recommend checking out these guys. He only ships in Australia at the moment, but he did an absolutely amazing job and he does it out of his garage and his business is building up quite a bit right now, but he does sell his filtration systems, which I highly recommend.